financial wellness. Reach out to them for advice at 855-DON-GINO. And now back to your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Franti. Hey, we do have fun here. Yeah, always sure. have fun. It's got, if you go go to our Skyline. Uh, it's it, SkylineHomeLoan.com. Yeah, but uh, and, and you got to go to our Facebook page. It's a hoop because we have a lot of fun. We have everybody here is awesome. We don't have one jerk or um, I don't know. Right. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> or the other thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in our office, everybody's awesome. We love what we do. We love helping you with your either your new home purchase, your first home purchase, your downsizing, your refinancing. We love what we do. We get to help you make smart decisions. So speaking of smart decisions. You may have thought you made a brilliant decision years ago to file bankruptcy. I mean, and, you and, did. It, and it can be. It could be yeah. the most amazing, liberating experience in the Usually world. Usually it is. Yeah. And, it's and been, I bet you Lou will attest to that when he oh, comes yeah. on. I mean, I can't tell. a bankruptcy attorney coming on next. Yeah, I'm sure he gets flowers and stuff all the time. Oh, I mean, yeah. it, it can fix a marriage to file yeah, bankruptcy. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, really it's, can. It's a true statement. Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. uh, so it's a wonderful thing to use the law to your advantage. However... Not all attorneys are created equal. Oh, we've seen some nightmares. And unfortunately, what I just identified recently is now, I've noticed, a. okay, we, it's not a trend yet, but I noticed when this first person came to me, I said, uh-oh, there's a lot of these out here. So listen really carefully if this is you. You filed bankruptcy, but you filed a Chapter 7. You did not file a Chapter 13. You did not strip your second lien away during your bankruptcy, right? And the easy way to know whether you did a seven or a 13 is A, look at your paperwork, but B, if you weren't in a plan for three or five years. A payment plan, meaning you're paying it off over the next five years at a reduced amount. Right, so if it just happened within six months and you were done, that was a seven. Yes. Um, And so if you did a seven and you put your mortgages into it and you stopped receiving collection notices from your second trust deed, Yay. Yay. <laughs> but you kept making payments on your first because you knew they would foreclose on you uh, if you didn't. But you didn't make any payments on the second. Nobody called. Nobody wrote. You got no communication whatsoever. Please watch out in the mail. You may receive a notice of foreclosure. <laughs> what? That's a rude awakening. Right? So the, what these banks have done is they've kept their portfolio. They've kept nice and quiet. They don't have any right to collect against you personally. And they have no, nothing to collect at that time because mm-hmm. there's no equity position at that time. But what they've been doing is carefully watching as equities rise and they have everybody's first loan information. They have everybody's second loan information. They know at what point they needed to wait till in order to start the foreclosure proceedings. So they are now starting foreclosure proceedings on second trust deeds that were not stripped away through bankruptcy because now you have equity. So the name of this segment is why sometimes having equity could suck. <laughs> That's brutal, Gino. I don't like you. I know. I'm, I'm totally the bad man on the block when I say this. If you're listening right now, I know you're going, no, no, I don't want to hear that. But it's true. Well, so, you're just trying to enlighten a lot of you out there that this is something you may want to look into. We're not trying to panic you, but that's not the way life is. You can't just stick your head in the sand and hope it goes away. You have to stay enlightened and informed. That way you can make educated decisions or proactive decisions well, let me put or it be this prepared way. For, for changes. Let me put it this way. If you get in front of this right now, as a mortgage lender, I can tell you that if you get in front of this right now, there's a chance that if structured appropriately, you could sell the home you're in, pay the debt you owe, and buy a new home. Okay, that's possible. No. If you don't and they file a notice of default, then now you're in active foreclosure and you won't be able to buy another home for a minimum of three years. I hate it when that happens. So this is really important information. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to head into our next segment. And, and Gino, you know, very astutely teed it up because we just happen to have um, our financial attorney slash bankruptcy attorney, one of the only 150 certified bankruptcy specialists out of hundreds 10, of thousands. Thousand. No, it's ten thousand, I think, in California. No, no three hundred thousand. Is it? <laughs> yeah, out of three hundred thousand uh, uh, attorneys, he's uh, one of one hundred and fifty that are certified bankruptcy specialists, actually on the board and helps them come up with this stuff. I know he keeps trying to leave; they won't let him. They, yeah, yeah, that's true. He's like, a public I, service. I, I gotta thing. actually go to work, guys. <laughs> so luckily, we have Lou Esmond with Esmond Law coming in, and he's got so much experience and in, in, in bankruptcy, but also in business law business foundation and we're going to talk about that and he's going to give you some really good information uh, that you're going to know and also heavily involved in our community he's the president of the rotary club this is a man you want to know and you want to learn from so don't go away 
We'll be right back with Lou Esben with Esben Law. <laughs> 